It is that time of the week again. Time for some local coaches and athletes to help us master a dish that you can show off at your next watch party. And this time, we're getting just a little bit fancy on game day grill. If something seems a little fishy about this episode, it's probably the fish. Today we're making smoked salmon, which might not be a traditional watch party recipe, but it tastes good, it's healthy, and if you ask me, it's time to make some new traditions. Now, if you're into cooking fish on the grill, former Longhorns linebacker Malik Jefferson says smoked salmon is as good as it gets. That is one of the, 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 the best fish to cook on the grill, honestly. If I had an, my personal opinion, it is because it's just such a good piece of meat, especially if you do the seasoning right. The way we're going to season our salmon is by using what's called a dry brine. It's a way of getting flavor deep into the meat, bringing out bright colors, and making sure that your salmon doesn't have an overwhelmingly fishy taste. To create our dry brine, mix pepper, garlic, Cajun seasoning, and dill with a lot of salt and even more brown sugar. Brush some olive oil onto the salmon, then cover it on all sides with your dry brine mixture. After that, refrigerate overnight. After 10 to 12 hours in the refrigerator, your science experiment is now complete. Your salmon, which was once surrounded by seasonings, is now fully brined. Rinse the fillets to remove any leftover seasonings. And before you fire up the grill, it's time to introduce a new tool that will introduce a new flavor. You know, I like to do salmon on a cedar plank. It's a really good presentation too, because you can actually take the salmon right from the, right from the grill on the cedar plank, put that out as, uh, as your presentation, you know, for your, for your guests or whatever. And it's got great flavor on it. The, the cedar plank adds Again, that little smoky flavor to the, to the fish. After soaking your planks in water for at least 30 minutes, it's time to put your salmon on the planks, brush with a mixture of lemon juice and honey, and then set it all on the grill at 225. I don't want to say it's like a patient fish, basically, because no matter how you cook, you cook it well done, you cook it medium well, whatever you want to cook it, you know what I'm saying? It's going to come out good. After about 40 minutes on the grill, apply another coat of your lemon and honey mixture. Then once your salmon hits 140 degrees internal temperature, it should be flaky, flavorful, and taste fantastic. And I'm not the only one grilling. Ryan must have been watching last week when we had our pizza segment. And I got to tell you, Ryan, this looks incredible. He went with the rectangular pizza so it would not roll away. Good thinking there. Brian from Round Rock has love for all kinds of ribs. Beef, pork, it doesn't matter. He's going to make something delicious. And Kristen reached out on Instagram to show off a very impressive collection of kebabs. Say that five times fast. If you want to show off some of your work on game day grilling, just send me your pictures on social media at Jeff Jones Sports.